For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kristen Hicks. I've lived in Diamond, Missouri for most of my life, and I have attended Fairview for about eight years now with my family. I am currently a special education teacher in Joplin, and I also help out with the early childhood and elementary ministries here at Fairview. Ever since high school, I really had a desire to go on a mission trip. And in 2009, I had the opportunity to go with Life of Hope Ministries on a week-long mission trip to Guatemala. Since that trip in 2009, I've been back multiple times and for varying lengths of time, but Guatemala has definitely captured my heart. Um, during the times that I've been there, I've met many awesome people. I love the culture, and God has been working on my heart to show me where he can use me there. In June, I will be returning to Guatemala City. There I will be staying with and working alongside Saul and Lila Perez. They are partners of Life of Hope Ministries and are supported by many other churches in the United States as well. They work with the community of people living inside and around the city dump of Guatemala City, which is the largest landfill in Central America. Saul is a pastor at Cristo El Camino, Iglesia Bautista, and Lila is a doctor of the recently opened medical clinic. There are many activities and services throughout the week that go on that they are involved in, such as an Awanas program for children, a Compassion International program that's housed at the church, feeding programs for the homeless, for the children who attend church on Sunday mornings, and for the communities that live inside the city dump. It is amazing to see their heart and passion for the people in this community and how God works through them each and every day. Much of my day, I will be at this small school called Rayitos de Esperanza, which means Little Rays of Hope. Currently, it houses five classrooms of children ages four through eight. <laughs> Most private schools in Guatemala offer English classes, but they have not been able to so far at this school. Lila had been praying for an English teacher for a while, and I am very excited that God is going to use me to begin answering this prayer. I will begin an English program in the school for the kids to help them as they progress in school, as well as help provide them more opportunities as they grow older and go looking for a job. I will also be working with other small groups of children, teaching English at the church and other programs throughout the community. For this journey, there are a few ways that I could use your help. First and foremost, I need prayerful supporters who can keep me in prayer daily. And if I have any special needs arise, I know that I can go to you to uh, cover me in prayer. I will also keep you updated with monthly newsletters to see how you can be praying for me each month and what's going on in my life. I also need financial supporters as I will be volunteering during my time in Guatemala. I will have a monthly budget to live by and so if you can give a one-time gift or a monthly gift that would be great to help fulfill my monthly budget. And finally I have a list of a few items that I think might be useful as I'm teaching English and if you can provide any of those items they're out on the table. Just take one of those and if you can bring it back before the 1st of June, that would be great. I know that anything that is provided will get used and the children will really benefit from it. Thank you for listening to this little spiel. And if you have any questions, please come find me or contact me. Like I said, more information is out on the table in the lobby. Thanks. <laughs>